Hello, it's Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman Knox. We're going to go through the Platinum Slim Wave pumps uh, to show you flow, controllability, and how to program them. We've got our setup here, and we're going to put these crazy little fluorescent beads that should be neutrally buoyant if it works right and be able to give you a better visual in the camera on flow. One quick thing I want to go over about these pumps, just like the return blue pumps, these have all types of safeties built in. So these pumps, they're designed to keep you from accidentally messing them up. If something gets clogged in a pump, it'll give you an error message and you will be able to look and see what that is. I'll give you one example of that. This pump is out of the water and I'm just gonna turn it on. So initially I get the nice fan breeze, but then it immediately realizes, hey, there's no water, I'm gonna melt, I'm gonna burn up, I'm gonna ruin myself, and it turns itself off, giving you an error message. One other thing that you need to realize in every box, this crazy little mesh is in there, and you might not know what that is, but anybody who has small fish or has the anemones and things that wanna travel, what this is designed to do is you slide it over the pump, you can cut it off as needed, and it's to give you just added um, safety and keep preventing things from going inside of the pump itself. That's only needed in some applications, but that is included in the box. Again, we've got our suction cups uh, on a mount, and I'll show you that this is actually strong enough to hold the pump without its external magnet, which of course with the magnet, then you've got everything under control but if you accidentally pull that off it'll still be in position but we've got magnet and suction cup providing two purposes the magnets are all coated and rubberized for noise and the suction cup on the inside prevents vibration plus gives you that safety feature okay now i'm going to put this media in we're going to see if this is any fun We're hoping this has the effect that I want it to. So far it looks cool. We'll see if it actually floats here in a minute like it's supposed to. It should. I'm told it's very expensive media, but we'll see what happens when the current kicks on. They recommend this be mounted six to eight inches below the water level, but we're gonna keep it higher just so you can see the flow and see the water movement a little better for purpose of this test. So you've got function screen, at the very beginning, you got the, the S button is called the time mode setting slash the select button. F button is your feed button. The M button is the move button, which I will explain in a moment. And then, of course, you got the increase button, which is plus on the front of the display. Out of the box, unit comes with five title time setting periods. Dawn, sunrise, day, sunset, and night. First thing you want to do is set the time because all of those are already preset so it's the easiest way to just make it work. So you hit the S button which gets you to the time. It is in military time. You hit the M which lets the first position flash which that is your hour. We're going to set it initially to zero because we're going to go for the first time period. Next position, we're going to go to 5. So we are at 5.30 in the morning. So at 5.30 in the morning, which is the dawn period, the pump is set to, um, and we'll look, we'll scroll here up to the setting. The pump is set to 1425, which what does that mean? Okay, the first position is your... Um, Time of day, one being dawn, that's your first setting, from 5.30 in the morning to 7.30 in the morning. The second position, which, which is a number from one to four, in this case it's four, represents intensity. So we're at four, which is the maximum intensity, 100%. So that means that the peak flow, as the dial goes up, you'll see it goes all the way to 100%. Third setting is our wave mode. The unit comes with four wave modes. Classic waves, which is one. Two is the nutrition transmission wave. 
three, which is constant stream wave, and four, which is the random wa wave mode. As you can see here, position three, we're at two for the dawn setting. So at two, we are on the nutrition wave mode. What is the nutrition wave mode? I'll put an image of the different wave crests at the bottom, but the nutrition wave mode is a gradual, watch the digits, it's a gradual speed up from slow to high. Then five, that's your frequency. So that's how quickly it changes. So right now we're at the five position, so it's right in the middle. So it's going at its mid speed from low to high. That's its mid speed, how frequently it's changing that current. Okay, now we're gonna go in and set the time again. And we're gonna change the time to eight o'clock or 8.42, so 8.42 in the morning. Let that kick in. So at 8.42 in the morning, we're at sunrise. Okay, in sunrise, we're at 24, 28 as the initial factory setting. So what does that mean? Two tells you it's the second position, which is sunrise. Four lets you know the intensity which is, it's going all the way up to 100% on the top end of the speed of the pump. Two, it's in nutrition transmission wave. And on this one, we're at the lowest frequency. So this is the, the longest amount of time between the pulsing up. So it's taking the longest time to go from slow to high. Now we're gonna set the clock again. And we're gonna take this up now to daytime. So we're gonna take this all the way up to nine. So nine o'clock in the morning. Our day cycle is from nine to two o'clock. And we're gonna let the pump kick from there. So here's the setting. So from nine to two o'clock, we're gonna be at three, 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 eight. So three lets you know it's the third position or daylight. Three means it's going up to 80%. Three means it's in the constant stream mode. So we're gonna have 80% of our flow, and in the constant mode, the, the last digit, which says eight, doesn't really matter because it's constant, so there's no frequency changing up or down. So we're constantly at 80% flow, and that's what the pump is doing. Now we're gonna to go to sunset. So we're gonna go back in and I'm cycling through and resetting these times just so you see what each of them do. And there's another thing you'll need to know about that that I'll go over in a moment. So we're gonna go back in here again. We're gonna change the time again. So again, this is military time and we're gonna go up to sunset. So I'm gonna take that to one and we're gonna to go to 14, which is 245. Let it reset. Okay, now we're at sunset. So the setting is gonna be four, three, two, eight. Four is your fourth position, which is sunset. Three means you are at 80% intensity. Two means you're in nutrition transmission wave again, which you can look at the chart and see what that pattern looks like. And eight means frequency, so we're at the lowest frequency. And you can look at the pump and see what's doing and you can see on the LEDs. We're going all the way down to one and all the way up to 80% of the flow. And then lastly, now I like all these settings because we don't have the true, like you can, you can set this pump up and have it pulse, 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 pulse. So a lot of people like that. It's not completely natural, and it also is hard on all aquarium seams. You can do it, making sure you have a good tank. Like this tank is an excellent tank from Mr. Aqua and Seven Forts. I know it would handle it, but long term, those pulsing actions aren't great on aquariums. So here we go. I'm gonna reset the time for the last setting. 
and we're going to take this up to 16 and this is our night mode so in the night mode which would go all the way till 4, 5 30 in the morning um, we're going to have a 5 4 well this one is set for 5 1 3 8 so again you're looking at um, you tell, five tells you the first position tells you it's in the night mode which is the the, the, the biggest number one lets you know it's only running at 40 percent so it's going to go all the maximum speed is 40 percent third position is constant stream and eight doesn't matter in constant stream but that would be the, it's set at the lowest frequency which obviously in constant stream there's no pulsing at all so that's the settings now here is the trick to this Let's say I don't want these factory settings and I want to change a setting. Let's just go, let's just pretend like we're going to change the morning time. So I'm going to change it back to the time, hit the mode button, and we're just going to make that six forty eight. Okay, so at six forty eight. At 648, we are in the dawn mode. That's our number one position. We're at four, which is our intensity, and we're at two, which is our constant stream, and we're at five, which is um, our frequency. I'm gonna scroll through this, hitting the mode button. I'm gonna change this to the maximum intensity, which is four, that's what it's set for. I'm going to change this, let's see, go back to the third position. I'm going to change this to one, classic wave mode. And I'm going to leave eight at the slowest setting. So right there, what we just did was we changed the computer's dawn setting. And we're going to go all the way from the bottom to all the way to the top. From slow to fast speed. Now that would be at the 8 frequency. Now let's look at that if we just change the frequency. So let's go all the way to 1 now. 1 is our fastest pulse and there is your pulse. This is something that everybody expects these power heads to do. Believe it or not it's one of my least favorite but a lot of you like it. Again we've got this mounted way too high just to show the flow but you can see Classic wave you can create in the aquarium. Exactly what everybody wants it to do. Now here's what you would have to do. You would have to go through, hit your time mode, go through each of the five cycles, and you could customize at that point each of those, but you'll have to reset the time to the period you want to change, and then you want to set it back to the current time, and then the pump will follow its cycles. Now, there's pump will create, as I mentioned earlier, It'll show you the error messages from 1 to 8. They're everything from software overcurrent protection, hardware overcurrent protection, under voltage. This product will protect itself from power surges, from lock rotor, from running dry, and startup fail. That means there's something jammed in there. It could be literally a hair from your wife or a snail from your aquarium. The unit will know and it'll give you an error 8. In summary, these are quiet. Remember, they're always on the pulsing mode, they make the most noise, so that fastest frequency. And it's not a high decibel reading, it's a low decibel, but you do hear it more because it's a change in speed. That's gonna be true of every pump like this on the market. Once you get used to the feature set of this pump, you're gonna like it. Once you get the settings fixed, you know, you're not gonna change it ever again, so you're probably gonna keep it in one position. And this is definitely Aquaman approved. Aquaman Knox, follow me on my channel, subscribe below, be looking for some new reviews.